welcome to day 06 in the previous lecture we used a word called enrollment so we would you know more deep dive into the enrollment uh, within this uh, lecture so in the day 5 we as part of the mdm um, authority configuration i used a word called enroll if you are the beginner to learn microsoft intune this lecture is for you if you already know enrollment methods uh, for now, you can skip it because we will again deep drive into these uh, enrollment methods. So that being said, let's actually understand what exactly the definition here uh, with respect to Microsoft Intune enrollment. Look at this uh, diagram. So we are trying to learn about the enrollment. So when you have a device that has to be enrolled. So we use something called enroll as a word once it is completed we will say that enrollment is completed right so your device have to take a membership through microsoft entra identity so the device has to come to your entra tenant and then from here these uh, tenant specific devices or the microsoft entra identity management software will manage your devices with the help of Microsoft Intune Admin Center. So this Intune Admin Center within your tenant, whatever you have your AD tenant, that is intra ID tenant specific, that will issue some a certificate called MDM certificate. So this certificate will be issued by Intune Admin Center now. So this certificate will be sent back to the devices. It could be your personal device, or corporate device whatever the device but the certificate has to come so to get that certificate we have to enter your you the end user specific uh, device specific user id password which will validate in the back end within the microsoft entra and once that is successful the certificate client certificate will be dropped on the device so by using that certificate that is nothing but the mdm client certificate uh, it would communicate with your Microsoft Intune's uh, admin center. So when I say it will communicate, what it will receive is it will receive policies. So policy is a set of configuration items. Let's say security rules or application protection policies or some kind of device specific configurations or complaints policies, some conditional access. So many more settings that can be pushed with the help of microsoft intune admin center so this entire process we call as enrollment so if you're trying to learn for the first time this is small information for you for now this is all about the microsoft intune specific enrollment so the devices that are enrolled will get the applications and the policies all of that and the device can be fully managed with the help of microsoft intune admin center so once you understand these uh, definition of the enrollment you might have to move to the next level of learning into the enrollment so if you just closely look into it there are personal devices organization or company owned devices right so these two type of devices can be managed by microsoft intune right so you can think about when i say devices now multiple devices right we we had a look on it right and these device types are different based on the platform so you might have to look into the platform specific devices how they are gonna enroll so every method of enrollment will have its own benefits and limitations also the reason being let's say if it is a personally owned device or bring your own device or the end users owned device you cannot factor raise it right because the device is owned by end user and you don't want to format and wipe out that entire information instead what you do is you would have a limit control or limited control on that specific device so this entire process would be taken care during the enrollment process so for that we have a dedicated lectures will come up it's not going to end up in just 10 or 15 or 30 minutes every method has its own 
explanation along with the use cases so based on your use case you might have to come up with that specific options uh, during the enrollment so if you see here this is bring your own device uh, within bring your own device you have something called an android enterprise so this is the android enterprise this is only dedicated device this is for fully managed this is for corporate and work profile so i would be you not know, talking all of these um, in the later point uh, like open source project all of that but there are limitations with every uh, type of enrollment so you need to you know, think in a, for now like yeah the, so the enrol enrollment is uh, can be android specific right for windows spe uh, other type and for apple devices there would be different type of enrollment will be there it's not the same even for linux it would be a different method that you need to use to enroll those devices so at the end what is happening is in the back end the certificate will be dropped on the client machine by using that certificate we would manage the device that's all it would happen okay so i would you know just drop uh, this url for you uh, just for your reference but you don't need to learn right away all this information but just in case if you want to you know refer you can always free feel free to you know refer to this i would be covering in depth in the upcoming lectures so it would be like uh, bring your own device with only the specific let's say this entire uh, topic is there right so all these things would be you know covered in that lecture and later point dedicated additional lecture fully additional and of course for every lecture it would you would you know ha also have the end user experience also within that lecture so i would you know deep drive that all for you so for now just try to understand you know now i hope you know what is enrollment right so if you still don't know or you still haven't get anything you can always you know comment in the below of this video you would get a response within 10 minutes in fact less than 10 minutes this lecture is part of complete microsoft intune training series where we would be discussing complete uh, microsoft intune training from zero to hero uh, which includes all the real time uh, best practices step by step instructions and this series also consists of interview questions if you are interested you can also check for other series that are part of very similar to the series.